Hey everybody, I just want to do a real quick video on how you create a channel inside Livecast. Um, I'm going to be doing this on and off through December, just showing you sort of highlights. But uh, when I do this, you got to sort of just ignore all the hard-coded stuff. So all these prices and things like this, they really mean nothing. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to hit Create Channel. And then in this section here, it's going to tell you, pick a category, pick a subcategory. You'll be able to create a subcategory, whatever. And then you'll put the channel name here, right? Whatever you want it to be. And I'm going to put four gigs of storage. Because the way this thing's set up, if you look at the top, you'll see here you have 42 gigs of 50 left. So you can add as much, you can add up to 42 gigs here. Now, if you want to add 43 gigs and hit next, what the system will do is say, sorry, you only have 42 gigs. If you want to upgrade and get more, press this button, and then you'll go to the pricing and you'll select what you want. And let's say you buy another 50 gigs, it'll add this immediately. So it'll say 100 gigs and it'll just keep on moving. Uh, let's say you do make it four gigs and you hit next. And let's say you've used three and a half gigs. And um, over here in Channel Manager, after you create the channels, where you're going to be able to upload videos. So let's say I've got 20 videos I'm going to upload to this channel that I call Name. If I grab all 20 and I drag them, I'll drop them. It'll be just like a little dotted box here that says Upload Videos. Drag them all, drop them in there. And it'll grab them, it'll do all the, uh, the work, you know, it'll edit the videos, do the intros, outros, everything you guys use, 2 plus a lot more. But the point here is, let's say it says, oh, that's 1.5 gigs worth of video. You only have 0.5 gigs left. You need to upgrade or you need to remove some um, videos that you currently have on here or you need to come back and assign more storage. So you have three options at that point. One, deleting videos or changing or moving videos to a different channel that has more storage. Two, as I have 42 gigs free, I could just press a button and say assign more storage. I could take this up to six and hit OK. And then all my videos will upload because six gigs is obviously enough space. Um, no problem. But if this was to zero and I needed to move up to six, then I could add more storage, pay whatever it is for 50 gigs, hit submit, immediately add that to your total, and the videos will continue to upload. So it won't break the upload. Um, you can do it all in the same sort of screens. So let's say I say next. It's going to tell me the names and all that kind of stuff. So the Breck Publisher, Creator, all these things are going to be included. With the founders, again, these are made up numbers, so don't pay attention to anything that you see number-wise. But with the founders, you'll see over here you have a quick inventory chart. I'll highlight that for you. And uh, a reload. This reload will obviously be a button where you can actually load more. So in order to, you know, select an SDK, you have to have an SDK in your inventory, right? But with founders, you're going to have SDKs in your inventory, you're going to have websites, you're going to have everything in your inventory that you can use depending on the level of founder that you are. And they'll be free, no charge forever. So basically, you could, yours wouldn't cost anything because it would use it out of your inventory first. If it's not in your inventory, well, then you have to purchase it uh, as you go. But even if you use up all your inventory that you get as a founder, you still get discounted prices, so these prices wouldn't apply to you anyway. And I'm not even saying these are the correct prices. It's just all made up at this point. I'm just showing you how to step through it. So let's say I select all these things, and I hit Next. So I was going to say, here we are, and here would be the price. Again, this is hard-coded. You see, it doesn't mean anything. If I hit Edit, you see it does nothing. What it would do is go back to the previous screen and I could deselect some things or change some things and hit next. But it doesn't matter what I change because that's just in there for your example only. <clears throat> then down here, you can add applications like websites, e-commerce sites, livecast, podcast, true TV, mobile apps. Again, to add these features, you have to have them in your inventory. But as a founder, you get a certain level of inventory based on whether you're a... Um, monthly founder or a lifetime or yearly. So that's why we gave everybody a chance to upgrade and get in on founders because um, these, whatever inventory you're given, you're given for ever. So like if you're a lifetime member and we give you four websites, four e-commerce, four mobile, four, you know, you'll never pay for those and then you can still use them um, any, any way you see fit or any way you want to use it. So um, that's why it's such a great deal because 
you can upgrade all these channels and decide what you want. Basically, it's not going to cost you additional money like it will a retail customer. But okay, you see, again, this number is nothing. So they say, oh, this is the things I want, whatever, right? And hit next. So even at full retail, if they select everything, they're still the whole channel is going to cost them. I don't know, ballpark 150, 160 bucks. Not for founders, obviously, but if you pick everything and you're a straight retail customer, meaning no discounts, nothing, that's somewhere in the ballpark. But again, you can set up a whole channel for free by not using the extras. Maybe you don't want the SDK or whatever. But for founders. I mean, you're going to have inventory, so it's not going to cost you anything if you use those features. Just so you know. This number is just a number I decided to type in there to scare you. That's why I'm telling you there's no channel ever that could be that much money from us. Now, you can sell your channels for whatever you want. I just put a number in there. If somebody, if you're selling a channel and you have all those features added, what you may charge somebody. So when you hit finish, if there is a balance, it will bring you in this window. Uh, the checkout, so it'll check out the hit submit. Once it's submitted, it'll be over here in channel manager under channels And then you'll see the channels that you'll click on them And that's where you can add videos or edit them or whatever Or if you just want to check out all the videos, this is every video you have uploaded to the server So if you're running low on space and you don't want to upgrade you can just go straight into videos It'll show you all your videos the size of them where they're uploaded that kind of thing and when you delete or edit anything off of uh, the videos or thumbnails or images, it will actually take it out of your feeds so you will not have to worry about um, it disturbing or destroying your Roku or your Amazon or Apple because it will update the stations accordingly. So we will not let you mess that up. But this is just a quick overview. I hope you guys see how easy it is to um, create a channel. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, you know, every week or maybe twice a week, once a week, something like that. We'll show you another piece of functionality that's going on in the back end and uh, how to use it. i just like to hear your feedback and comments uh, because we got one when we demoed the categories that, wow, sports was missing. So we went back and we put in sports uh, just so that um, everybody would have it. So we found it um, important. We thought it was a great piece of feedback and that's why we're sharing this information with you because if you have any additional ideas, love to hear them. Thanks, and uh, we look forward to sharing more with you.